Hey again, so actually I changed my mind about one thing because um, since this is the first Chavas that I'm going to completely avoid breaking, well, I have to break it once so I can turn on or turn off a light, but uh, since it's going to be my first Chavas where I won't be cooking or doing any creative works, uh, I decided that actually I will break the, ex uh, the exception uh, of my no social media for the next few days because I'm going to record my Chavo's preparations. I don't know if I'm going to upload it, but actually I'm going to be recording my cooking because I want, you know, my first full Chavo's meals um, and know what they were and how I did it. Uh, so yes, I won't be keeping the food warm because I still share the house and while in the other house I couldn't do anything for Shabbos and um, because of the people I lived with, with, here I have full access to the kitchen. The kitchen is not cluttered with other people's stuff. I have my own kitchen cabinet and I have my own space, so I will be able to Shabos prep um, and so I'll be cooking my food uh, and um, tomorrow and uh, I will be eating it all over, Sh uh, all throughout Shabos. I won't be eating uh, warm food because uh, I can't leave the hot plate on. <laughs> Uh, because uh, I share a house, but I will be uh, refraining from using the computer. I will be refraining from uh, doing any creative activities. And I, I'm needing it. I think that this breakdown I'm having is also partly because I'm starting to get, uh, you know, my soul is changing. And uh, I've been keeping kosher for so long. And uh, whenever there's something that I do wrong, I usually get a little sick. Um, like uh, the other day, uh, I was um, at my father's on my birthday and they took me to, uh, what do you call it? <sighs> It's a house where you only have meat and stuff, and they had uh, they also had shrimp, but I can't eat shrimp either. So I ate lamb, and even though lamb is technically a kosher meat, um, I don't know I don't know how it was slaughtered. So I usually don't eat meat, but uh, on my birthday I ate meat, and I felt sick to my stomach. Even though I love my lamb, but it was uh, revolting because uh, they did it on purpose, taking me to a place where I'd have to, because they didn't have vegetarian options, and the fish options that they had were fish that I can't eat. I can't eat catfish, I can't eat shrimp, I can't eat anything they had there. So I chose lamb because it's my favorite meat, and it was my birthday. And uh, even though it wasn't kosher, technically nothing that I eat is kosher, but still, I don't know how that lamb was slaughtered or if, because at my grandmother's place, the, the, the blood was completely drained. They took out the veins, they took out certain nerves, and the, the meat was processed in a way that I think can be compatible with kosher. But uh, since uh, it was a restaurant, I don't know, but uh, at least uh, yesterday in Lisbon, they wanted me to eat carbonara, but I ate uh, salmon pasta. And, um, you know, they were a little nasty because they knew I was hurting. But they actually let me eat fish and uh, didn't try to force meat on me. They did the usual anti-Semitic comments and uh, 
mocking comments, but at least I was allowed to choose my uh, to choose my food. Um, so that's this. Tomorrow I will be starting my first Shabbos and I've been wanting this for so many months and I'm sorry I'm starting to cry because I had hoped that when I moved out of my father's house that I'd start to keep Shabbos every week and the wine still hasn't come, I can't make challah and it's been so problematic. At least in this house, I can pray again because um, uh, in that house I couldn't pray, I couldn't do anything. Uh, but uh, I still cannot fully observe showers. But I think that now, even without uh, the wine and the possibility of making hala. We asked our landlady to install the gas line and uh, or an oven, uh, and uh, we still don't have an oven because this place is new. So for the time being, I won't be able to make hala. And uh, I ordered the wine so long ago, and I paid for it, and it still hasn't come. I think that either it was a scam, well, the, the company is legit, but they're not sending me my products, so I'll have to do something about it. So that's it for today. And uh, yes, it's going to be my, not my first Shabbos. Uh, I've been doing the blessings and uh, stuff like that, but it's going to be the first Shabbos while I refrain from creative work because uh, the other the other house, I had to do the cleaning because the ladies were very, very disorderly. Uh, uh, they had a nasty, the kitchen was always dirty and I took all of my weekend cleaning after them. So I couldn't, even if I wanted, I couldn't observe showers fully. Um, and it's like I wanted it so bad, but that house, was cursed or something because I couldn't pray, I couldn't, I don't know, there was some negative energy in there. Couldn't pray, couldn't do any of my usual blessings. Oh, and even one of my candle holders broke when I was leaving because I, I cleaned uh, the wax of it. And in one of the last days I was there, I broke it had to get a replacement, but it's not the same thing and still didn't find one that matched. So my candle holders now are not uh, as beautiful as they used to be. <sighs> so anyway, this is it for today. And uh, so yeah, then tomorrow I'll record the videos. I don't know if I'm posting them tomorrow because I'm trying to stay off social media. Because uh, I need a break from social media and um, so yeah, just going to, because I'm excited about Chavez, I've been, you don't know how important this is, this is, this, uh, I actually expected to become Shomer Shabbat before I became kosher and it was the other way around, so, well, God knows best and uh, there must be a reason why I haven't been able to observe Shabbos. Oh, and I know that I have to break Shabbos at least once, so I will keep that in mind. But I think that just turning on the toilet, the, the light to go to the toilet will be my uh, breaking Shabbos. Because, because I'm not a convert yet, uh, I can't fully keep Shabbos. Anyway, that's it for this video, and I'll see you Monday um, uh, or tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to post my cooking videos tomorrow, but I will definitely be recording them tomorrow. And uh, Shabbat Shalom. Bye-bye.